These Air Force bases were spread across the United States. Glasgow, Montana was just one of many. Glasgow Industrial's XB-52 base was built in the early 1960s. This is one of the first ones that was ever closed down. It was a very short-lived facility, devastated the town of Glasgow. I'd call it a ghost town. It's kind of a stark landscape. I think it's so beautiful out here. Boeing bought most of the facility. It's a remote facility, but that's what makes it perfect for us. We have the ability to do our testing and really be unencumbered by traffic other than deer and, uh, and a roaming tumbleweed once in a while. For the Boeing Company, the Eco Demonstrator program came out of how do we reduce noise, emissions, hazardous materials on the airplane. It's really all about innovate, collaborate, and accelerating new technologies onto our airplanes. So today we're on board our 777 freighter from FedEx. Her name's Holly. We have all of our test equipment loaded, capturing data for each one of the technologies. And then the engineers come in, they collect it. It's data gathering for sensors, so they're going to take that data that we collected for them and go back and analyze it and see what steps they need to take next to implement their technology. I'm mean, flexible on the speed. I wrote it as plus or minus three knots. If it's four, plus or minus four, that's fine. The best thing about it, these echo demonstrators, is you turn loose engineering. You say, what can you do? We have 35 different technologies that we put on board the aircraft, and we get whatever data that we can to further the future of aviation. One of the leading causes of injury on airplanes today is from clear turbulence. There's turbulence out there that you just can't see. So this airplane has a laser system on it that can look out ahead of the airplane 10 miles and tell the pilot that there's turbulence out there. And what that gives him is about a minute to get the people sat down and the crew sat down and reduce any, uh, any risk of injury. And then we have another LiDAR camera that tries to find airspeed close into the airplane. You start, start worrying about drones and some other stuff like that. How are we going to avoid these things? Can we have a detect and advise system in the airplane that finds targets that aren't cooperative targets? One of the things that we always have to deal with when we're doing remote testing is the weather. The winds here in Glasgow are uh, too strong. Today it was gusting at over 50 miles an hour. But the crew here is ready, and uh, we'll deal with it. One of the things we're really excited about on this airplane is a system called Surface Operation Collision Avoidance System. And it's really all about sensing what's around the airplane. So the airplane is now outfitted with cameras and radar sensors. It'll alert the pilot and let him know that there's something in their path. One thing that we did on this airplane, we actually allowed two 777 FedEx freighters in close enough proximity where this airplane in the back could actually surf the wake of the lead airplane. And uh, so there's lift, additional lift, that's in the air from the vortex, and that allows this airplane to burn less fuel when it's surfing that wake. It's a mimic of what's happened in nature with the uh, geese. Uh, we're trying to do that with our airplanes. These technologies are important to the future of the company, the future of aviation, the future of, of our kids, because of technologies that we tested on the Eco Demonstrator program.